the Balenciaga bishop or the Pope misinformation, like showing that Trump has recently been arrested or that Anthony Fauci has been recently arrested. Artificial intelligence, and specifically generative AI, is getting very good at producing realistic images. And it's actually been good for quite a while, but now it's much easier for anyone to prompt these very realistic images of well-known people doing absurd things and then creating media stories. It's a tricky problem because these images do look real at first glance. And so one of the first things to think about is what's the source of the image? Who's the source? Should I trust this source? And why, if this is potentially such a big story, it not being uh, shared on the mainstream media outlets that most people trust? Classic examples are sometimes these AI generated images have six fingers or four fingers or a hand that just doesn't really look like a hand. In the Pope example, you can see issues with the glasses where the glasses just fade in some kind of weird way. Uh, his cross would have nice clean right angles because he'd have a very high quality cross. And if you look closely at the image, uh, you'll notice that this cross, it, it just doesn't look like you'd expect the Pope's cross to be because it lacks these right angles. Um, other things are uh, physical implausibilities. So uh, sometimes shadows can be off, sometimes reflections can be off, but it doesn't mean that for sure this is a real or fake photo, but it's just one piece of evidence that that might show that something potentially is off. There is an example last year of a deep fake of the president of Ukraine saying that he was giving up to Russia. Бути президентом виявилося не так же легко. It was actually kind of a low quality deep fake, very obvious that it was a deep fake, uh, but uh, it was a deep fake of him saying something that was not true. And he came out on the air very quickly afterwards and said, hey, look, this is a deep fake. Of course, we're still pursuing actions against Russia and we're not going to back down. 